Hi guys, Tina Gale here, and I am hopefully back for a process video. We will see how it goes because it's been a long time since I've scrapbooked. So I actually pulled out some kits that I've had packed up probably for a couple of years um, for an event that I didn't get to while I was there. So I thought that would be a good place to kind of jump in and get going. So I have these photos that are from Hertz Donuts and I will maybe talk about those later. This is a scrap room kit and some of the add-ons that go with it. So this is what I'm going to be using, Simple Stories Dream Big. I have the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Love this little banner. I think that will be fun with it. So we'll, we'll kind of see how that plays along. This is the paper from the kit and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna use this one because it just kind of reminds me of icing and um, the sweets. Um, also this pink with the polka dots, I'm thinking that definitely looks like donuts and the stripe will pull all of the colors together and it goes really well with all of the colors that are in this box of yumminess. This one kind of reminded me of sprinkles so I don't know if I will get it in or not but again it kind of reminds me of what we saw on the donuts. And then these are some other papers. I don't plan on using these, but we will see as I go about. I really don't have anything planned other than I do have a sketch. I have some cardstock from the kit. Um, so I know kind of what paper I'm leaning towards. I have the ephemera pack here. There's lots of options. I also have some of the puffy stickers. So these are super cute. So I'll see if I can get some of those in because I love puffy stickers. I even have a little donut in that, so that's going to be perfect. I'm going to stick that on there. Also, I should say, this is the sketch that I'm using. This is from Page Maps, May of 2017. These are free sketches that you can download. And this is the one that I had planned out. And you can see when I packed up for the event, Normally I get page kits together, photos, and I will go through sketches and I will make notes. So this had my little note on here that it was for this photo and this collection and that I would use this sketch or a Freaky Fast Friday challenge. So I don't remember what challenge that was, so we're going to go with the sketch. I also have some other photos that were in this pack because there's a lot of paper in here. So I had put notes on here for what would work for those as well. This was another sketch that I considered, but I think I'm going to use it for another one. So hopefully I will get that one done as well and have another process video up. So let's get going and start cutting some paper. All right, so I've decided I am going to use these three papers. I'm going to put the stripe back here and border it, I think, on this cardstock. This is going to be the smaller section in the center, and then I'm going to make the banner out of this. And now I'm just trying to decide whether I want to mat this photo other than white. I have a little bit of white border, but not on the side, so I will mat it. Um, so the paper that I had thought maybe that I would use if I did another one was this sparkle here, which that looks pretty good. It definitely brings out this donut over here. Um, so that would be an option, but then I saw this yellow and I wondered if that would bring out more of the truck and the donuts. So I was kind of testing that one and I think that is the one that I want to use. Um, it was, would not have been on my radar because it's the little florals, which of course when you're matting a photo, you don't notice what the print is. But right now I'm thinking that's the better choice because it brings in a little bit of the truck because it's brown and cream but you know I don't want to put wood grain or brown on this I want to keep with the really bright colors for the donuts even though we have lots of dark browns for chocolate and things like that so I think this is the one I'm going to do I'm going to cut these pieces and get those down and then map my photos and start on the decoration so I went ahead and I cut the stripe for my background and I matted it on that pink cardstock and that doesn't show in the sketch but I just felt like it really popped and was a good choice. I've cut this 10 by 10 so this is going to be my center and then I started um, thinking about the banner and the photos and this is what I had intended on for the banner because again it pulls in all of the colors. It is a stripe 
but it's thicker, it's scalloped, it has dimension and things to it, and I think this would look really well. But when I flipped the back of this paper over these rainbows, I'm thinking that might look really cute too. I mean, I love that with this, but let's go to the photos and the photo mat. Um, this is not long enough for what they have on the, the sketch because theirs goes above and below, but there is a journal card in the middle, so I can cut this apart and make it work if I decide on this. So then we have to ask, is the rainbows the best choice next to the yellow and the other pink. And again, I think it looks really great. And this looks like just a rainbow of happiness. I do think this would work as well if you like it better. Um, I think either one is a great choice, but I believe this is the one I'm going to go with. So I'm going to trim out my photo and then start adhering that together. And then we'll be ready to embellish. I know that donut is gonna go on here. I love that little scalloped tassel banner. And there is a tag and different things above the photo. I'll try to get the sketch, maybe move it over here so you can see. And again, I don't have to match that sketch exactly. But there we go. They have the photo going off the page a little bit to the left. But again, I think this is bigger than what they have. They probably have about a nine and a half inch square. So I could either cut that down, but I like that pink. So I think I'm just going to move it over and do something like that. And then we'll have something here. I may move the embellishment down a little bit because my photo has dead space here that I can cover up where I don't want to be covering up that. Because if you can see, if you're not familiar with Hertz Donut, it's the emergency donut vehicle. So they make their rounds to smaller towns that are further away. So I'm an hour away from Hertz Donuts. So they had come to town and it was amazing that they had come. Um, so we had a coworker go and pick up donuts. Okay, let me hear this pink down. See, and I could even do it opposite like this. But if you look, it kind of makes all of this disappear because it mimics what's in here, just lots of little shapes. So it doesn't stand out as much. But I do like the rainbows with it. This is a great style of sketch also for stitching. Normally when I mat like this, I love to take it to the sewing machine and stitch around the outside edge. And I may pop this up on foam to get it up. We'll just we'll wait and see. So I'm not gonna cut that in half yet until I find out exactly where I'm gonna piece it together, but I'm looking at about like that. Um, so let's start looking at embellishments. I know I want the donut on there somewhere. Now they have embellishments at the top, up here, here, and over here. So they've kind of done a diagonal embellishment. You can do that. You could also do something up here, something smaller down here, over here, and then one down here, and do a triangle. Weird. Okay, so my camera keeps shutting off, so I apologize if this is choppy. So I have the banner here. I'm going to pop dot part of it up. Um, I was looking for something to journal on, and I saw this with the rainbow, and I thought, well, that might work because it would give a little um, cluster base here. So I just cut it out with an X-Acto knife, and so I'm going to stick that. That's going to be my fill in. So let's get everything put back on here and try to wrap this layout up. Okay, so I kind of want the ends to be flat, but I want all the other pieces to pop up. So I'm just going to, whoops, pop dot them with some foam tape. I've also decided I am going to put everything at a diagonal. Um, I normally don't like to embellish that way, but I think it actually kind of works with this one, so. So 
So I'm going to match this up to here and then the ends to the edges of the paper. So I'm about to go down and these to be up. Okay, so I'm going to fishtail the bottom of this. Well, I've had another issue with my camera and now my sound is not working, so I'm going to voice over for the rest of this. Um, again, I apologize, but I did want to get a process video up. So I'm going to start embellishing now. I did fishtail this banner over here, and now that I've decided kind of where my embellishments are going, my journal card that I cut out um, from the cut apart sheet, and then this little phrase, um, I know exactly where I can cover it up. So I cut that apart. I'm just going to line it up. These T-square rulers are perfect when you're piecing together paper or lining up layouts even like this with the background and stuff to make sure that it ends up square. Um, it, you can eyeball it, but sometimes it's, it's nice to have a T-square like that. I am going to pop dot up my photo because I'm going to add a lot of little embellishments and I just wanted it raised up just to give it just a little bit more impact because all of these papers are quite bold and busy and the photos are really busy so anything you can do to separate those layers will help really focus on those photos. And now I've just gone through um, I had went through the ephemera pack and picked out pieces that I thought would match either the color, the theme, um, I was also mindful of getting different sizes of embellishments so that I have a wide variety. So this is that donut that I for sure wanted to get on there. And I'm just using it kind of as a base of the, for the cluster as well. And then this little phrase that I had found that's um, so cute and really fitting for the layout and the journaling. Um, up at the top, I found the little phrase that says chasing rainbows and again it repeated those rainbow colors that's in the patterned paper so that was perfect it was also fitting for the story that we're going to tell we were chasing down the truck well we knew where it was going to be at um, but we were chasing these donuts that we don't have access to or easily have access to i found that little cloud and it helped repeat kind of that blue and that aqua color and it was just cute and sweet and it kind of went in with the rainbow theme as well. So it had rain, like a rainbow of rain coming down off the bottom of it. I just cut that away. I didn't want that. I just wanted the, the blue part of it. Also had that yellow that said hello. And I put that in again because I have the yellow behind the photos. And so that's going to help pull that together with the rest of the layout since I really don't have any other yellow paper. Now that I have the bigger pieces in, I'm kind of looking for medium to the smaller. So I had this butterfly and it was just cute and I wanted something to kind of break apart. So far I have everything clustered together. Everything's kind of touching and it's getting blocky and so that butterfly gives a different shape it's not squared i'm going to pop dot up the wings and so it gives more dimension there repeated all of the colors so it's just a nice little touch over there the last thing i'm going to add in are the little sprinkles you could do this with enamel dots but i have the little die cuts that are the little sprinkles as well as the puffy stickers so I just scattered out according to um, dividing up the colors so that they repeated throughout the diagonal embellishment and um, played with the sizes. And that's it. This is the finished layout. I made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you soon, hopefully with another video. Thanks for watching.